All right, so now we know how to open a document, rename a document, where our tools are, how to change our color, and how to change our brush size. Let's talk about shapes. Um, for right now, I am just going to come through here and get everything off of this layer. I'll go over that in a little bit. Um, and let's just say I wanted to either draw a perfectly straight line or a perfect circle. Even if I go really slow and I'm trying to be very careful, nothing is perfect, right? We don't need to be perfect, but sometimes we want something that looks really precise. And so with digital drawing, generally speaking, if I start to draw a line and I just pause at the end, it's going to snap into a perfect line. And then if I'm not lifting up my Apple Pencil or my finger, I can change the angle of that. So that's great. Um, if I want a circle, I can draw, try to draw the most perfect circle, or when I draw my circle and I pause, before I lift my Apple Pencil up, it will snap into a perfect circle. So if I do that again, right? And then if still, if I don't lift my pencil up, I can change the size of it. If I go through here and I try to do other shapes like a circle, sorry, that is not a circle. That was supposed to be a square. Let me try to do this. It's, it's not really, oh, maybe a rectangle will be easier. But it's, it's, not, it's not really right. Let's try to do a triangle. I mean, that has three sides. That's a little better. Um, but all right, if I can play around. Uh, but these aren't perfect. Uh, so what happens? Like, how do, how do I do that? Um, it's not very often we need something that is perfect. But in this instance, in the very bottom right-hand color, sorry, sorry, very bottom right-hand corner, there's a real little ruler icon and I can use this to draw perfectly straight lines. I can rotate this with two fingers. It's popping into place at zero degrees. This means it is perfectly horizontal, right? You can see that. And I can draw, once I start drawing along the ruler, I can't veer away from it. I'm trying to lift up my pencil above or below and it's just giving me a straight line. I can move this around and I can try it at different angles and I can get all these perfectly straight lines. If I tap the ruler icon again, it will go away. If I don't want a straight line, but I want a shape, if I press and hold, then it gives me some options down here. And I can bring a circle in, and I touch the little square plus sign at the bottom of this, and I can trace around this, right? I can make this a little bit smaller, bring it in here to the middle, maybe change my color a little bit, I can start to do that. Um, those aren't evenly spaced, but that is fine for now. If I want to get rid of that and choose a different one, I can come to my square. And this can be really helpful because I can make this a rectangle. Let's just go different colors just because. Let's go to not just different size rectangle, but also a different size brush. Oops. I can get rid of that. And I've got three kind of concentric rectangles. If I come here to polygons, I can add and subtract uh, numbers of sides. So let's come down here, I'll make this a little bit bigger and a different color so it's a little bit easier to see. And maybe I want to put a circle in the middle of that. All right, so we can keep playing around. This is how we can get very specific shapes, very specific lines and orientations of different things. And, and that's how to use like the shape tool and the ruler and things like that. So play around with that and then we will move on from there.